children, how are you today? Oh, good. Well, story today. Okay, so 
here. I'm up on top of the ladder, and I have to get over to cut that branch. Oh, I can't quite reach it. You know what I should have done? I should have moved the ladder, shouldn't I? No, it takes too much time. Well, it's not cooperating. And I cut the branch. Okay. And that's it. So I cut the branch down. Okay. And so I'm still on top of the ladder. And I put my clippers down. You know why I put my clippers down first? Because when you come down the ladder, you put both hands. Right? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? But you know what? I was in a hurry. So I had to hold on it very tight. And I was on this step, and I stepped on this step every time. I stepped on this step, and as I stepped on this step, the ladder flew off this way, and I flew off the other way, and right into the bush, face plant into the bush. One arm went into the soft soil, the other arm on the concrete sidewalk. And you know what I heard then? in the bush, she did a nice thing. She rolled, they call it fog roll, rolled me over and it really hurt. And then she called 911 and got a pillow for my head. And it takes about 15 minutes for the ambulance to come. But we had neighbors that were caught of a, a watch group. And when you call 911, they had beepers to go off. So the neighbors came to help. And then they put me in the ambulance. And even in the ambulance ride, when they went over a bump, it hurt. So I got to the hospital in the emergency room, and they just take one look at my arm, and yeah, and it was broken, but they still have to take an x-ray. But I was in so much pain. I don't know if you know on the walls, they have smiley faces, no pain, big smile, lots of pain. <laughs> I was in lots of pain. I was in 9 or 10, a lot of pain. So they gave me a strong pain shot, and you know what? And they gave me another strong pain shot. You know what? But in the meantime, they had called the orthopedist. Now, it was a Sunday, and so he wasn't there in the hospital. He had to come from home, so it took a few minutes. He got there, and he showed me the x-ray. And you could see where the bones were supposed to be like this. They were like that. And some x-rays, you look at it, and you look, where is the problem? Where is the crack? But not on this x-ray. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah. And so my left arm was short because of the bone. Yeah. So what do you do? Well, I knew what you should do. But I didn't want it done. You know why? Because it hurt. And any time that somebody touched my arm, it hurt worse. But the orthopedist said, you know what we need to do? We need to set your arm. I know what that doctor taught. You know what it really meant? We need to jerk your arm back into the plane. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Don't touch my arm. And I said, well, go ahead, but put me to sleep first. He, he said, you know better than that. We don't put people to sleep. Well, I don't like it. So what do you think I should do? Should I trust him to do it? Or just lay there in pain and pain more pain? Now, I had known him before. I had been to his office. I had seen his certificates on the wall. And in fact, he had done a procedure on code. And on my mother and on some, a lot of other patients I had sent to him. And he'd done a good job. So I'd better trust him, shouldn't I? Yeah. So he took a big hand and put it on my shoulder. He took another hand and put it down here. And you know what I did? I ran my teeth. Oh. gone. Now, it probably went from a 10 down to a 5, but I had all that drugs in me. 
Remember all those painkillers? And so suddenly they could take effect. But it was really, I was shocked. It was just went from terrible pain. And they just stretched those muscles back where they're supposed to be. And the nerves went back to where they were supposed to be. And everything was happy. He put a split on. But isn't that something we have to learn to trust? And if you remember the Bible, Hebrews chapter 11, it talks about all the people that learned to trust Jesus. Yeah. The three Hebrews that were in the fiery furnace, they just didn't suddenly get the trust to go in that fiery furnace, did they? They had to learn. They went through several other things ahead of time. And think about Paul. He had to trust the people when they were putting him over the wall with the basket that they wouldn't drop him in that. And the disciples had to trust Jesus when they were in the boat that was about to sink. They had to all learn. And so as we go through life, we learn things. And each little thing that we learn, little trust, helps us more so that we come to some big thing that happens to us. Like the surgery you're going to happen. You can trust your mommy and dad. You can trust the dentist that they're going to do the right thing. And everything, Jesus is in charge and everything will come out okay. Okay, so we pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you are in charge. That even though we do make you foolish things, that you still help us and help us to come up. And we get with our lives, and we ask it in your name. Amen. Amen.